History repeats itself as the space giant. Blue Origin stumbles again, sidelining its most trusted rocket in a move that's left experts speechless. Why? Because this isn't about their new and flashy new Glenn. It's about a suborbital vehicle that's been flying reliably for 10 years. The stakes are high, especially since this mission is pivotal to NASA's Artemis program. Indeed, Blue Origin has already scrubbed the landmark New Shepard moon gravity launch, further deepening the challenges faced by NASA and tarnishing Blue Origin's already fragile reputation. And after a week of silence, the company finally unveiled the latest crucial details about the mission. But questions remain about its future. Find out everything in today's episode. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Entering 2025, Blue Origin, the aerospace company founded by Jeff Bezos, is intensifying its efforts to compete with SpaceX, led by Elon Musk. This determination was evident in two significant events in January 2025. The successful maiden launch of the new Glenn rocket on January 16th, and the subsequent attempt to launch the New Shepard Moon Gravity Mission, designated NS-29, on January 28th. However, both launches experienced significant delays, affecting the following schedules and disappointing the space community. Prior to the date when New Glenn successfully reached orbit, its initial launch attempt on January 13th was scrubbed due to a vehicle subsystem issue. The problem caused the company to repeatedly delay the countdown in around 20-minute increments over the course of the three-hour launch window. This makes viewers feel annoyed because their time is wasted. Given that, I thought they had learned something to better prepare for the second launch in 2025, which is the New Shepard NS-29 mission. But unexpectedly, New Shepard followed, New Glenn, when its 29th launch on the 28th was also delayed due to problems with the booster and weather. Specifically, Blue Origin was initially targeting January 28th for its first New Shepard mission of the year. But during the launch, Blue Origin flight controllers detected an avionics issue on the New Shepard booster, prompting the team to stand down for the day. Blue Origin commentators added that even without the technical glitch, a persistent thick cloud layer was preventing the launch. However, technical problems remain the focus of attention. We are scrubbing today's launch. In addition to thick clouds we've been tracking all morning, we also encountered an issue related to the booster's avionics. New launch target forthcoming, Blue Origin announced via X. And now, after a week of keeping silent, Blue Origin finally states NS-29's next launch window, February 4th. New Shepard's updated target launch date is Tuesday, February 4th. The NS-29 launch window opens at 10 a.m. CST-1600 UTC from Launch Site 1. As always, any new launch date will depend on the nature of the delay and whether Blue Origin is able to complete any necessary adjustments or fixes in time for the next attempt. In this case, it seems that the rocket booster malfunction was not simple because Blue Origin spent a week dealing with it. Notably, the issue related to the booster's avionics, as B.O. mentioned in its tweet, aligns with past issues like the engine failure in September 2022 that grounded the vehicle for more than a year. This time, hopefully, they can find and address the root cause to avoid any future cancellations. Anyway, one week's delay causes a big concern for the fate of the NS-29 mission, especially since it plays a vital role in NASA's Artemis program and for Blue Origin's future lunar endeavors. Unlike the earlier missions which primarily focused on suborbital space tourism and scientific experiments without the extended low-gravity experience, the NS-29 mission represents a significant evolution in Blue Origin's New Shepard program. 29 of 30 different experiments on the New Shepard NS-29 mission aimed at testing technologies for the moon. The final payload will actually ride on the rocket's booster, while the rest are tucked inside the return capsule. 
the flight will simulate lunar gravity conditions for at least two minutes by spinning the New Shepard capsule at approximately 11 revolutions per minute. This is a first for the New Shepard program and allows researchers to test technologies in a low gravity environment that closely mimics the moon's conditions. Conducting these tests through the NS-29 mission allows Blue Origin to prove out technologies at a significantly lower cost compared to traditional methods. As Blue Origin wrote in a mission overview, in simulated lunar gravity, customers can accelerate their learning and technology readiness for lunar payloads at much lower cost. This cost-effective approach is aligned with Blue Origin's mission to lower access costs to space, benefiting both commercial and governmental space initiatives. Of the 29 payloads aboard New Shepard, 17 are NASA experiments meant to test a wide variety of instruments, anchors, dust conveyors, and other devices that could be used on the lunar surface by future robots or astronauts. They are supported by NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. The agency is keen to gather more data about lunar conditions to aid its Artemis program, which is working to get people back to the moon a few years from now, for example in 2027, under NASA's Artemis III. Thanks to that, the NS-29 sets it apart from the previous missions, which, although may have included NASA payloads, did not have the same explicit alignment with lunar exploration goals or direct collaboration with NASA regarding lunar technology testing. However, the significance of the mission increases the pressure on Blue Origin. If the company fails to resolve the issues with the rocket booster and establishes a new launch window, its reputation with NASA could suffer greatly. This setback would hinder Blue Origin's ambitions to compete effectively with SpaceX for future national missions. Not to mention, in contrast to the new orbital New Glenn rocket, the suborbital New Shepard, operational for over a decade, has already cemented its reputation as a reliable, reusable system. This established track record amplifies public attention when technical anomalies arise, as they serve as litmus tests for Blue Origin's operational rigor and long-term dedication to mission safety. Unlike the developing New Glenn, every New Shepard glitch is scrutinized through the lens of a decade's worth of expectations, turning even minor setbacks into high-stakes validations of the company's engineering ethos. One more interesting tidbit about New Shepard. While primarily designed for space tourism, 19 out of its 28 flights have been uncrewed. The first crewed mission, NS-16, successfully took place on July 20, 2021, after 15 uncrewed test flights over several years. This mission's crew included Jeff Bezos, Mark Bezos, Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon, all of whom became astronauts upon crossing the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. To secure a seat on New Shepard, nearly 7,600 individuals from 159 countries registered to bid. Interest surged in the auction after Jeff Bezos announced his participation in the flight alongside his brother Mark. The winning bid reached $28 million, a figure that surprised even some company executives. Blue Origin indicated that this amount would be donated to its foundation, Club for the Future, which aims to inspire future generations to pursue careers in STEM and contribute to the future of life in space. Blue Origin described NS-16 as a historical mission since it set several records. Wally Funk, 82, became the oldest person to fly in space. Oliver Damon, an 18 Dutch teenager, was the first ever commercial astronaut to purchase a ticket and fly to space on a privately funded and licensed space vehicle from a private launch site. He also became the youngest person to fly in space. However, Damon was not the actual winning bidder. His father, a private equity executive, was the runner-up and next in line after the true winner, who has not been publicly identified but withdrew due to a scheduling conflict. The mission also helped New Shepard to become the first commercial vehicle under a suborbital reusable launch vehicle license to fly paying customers.
both payloads and astronauts, to space and back. Jeff and Mark Bezos became the first siblings to ever fly in space together. Following its initial success, Blue Origin was brimming with confidence, setting ambitious goals to launch two more crewed flights within the same year and laying the groundwork for an exciting lineup of missions in 2022. Between July 2021 and August 2022, New Shepard soared through the skies on six exhilarating crewed flights, featuring a star-studded mix of sponsored celebrities like Wally Funk and William Shatner, alongside adventurous paying customers eager to experience the thrill of space travel. The second crewed flight, NS-18, launched on October 13, 2021, carrying four passengers, including the legendary William Shatner, best known for his iconic role as Captain Kirk in the original Star Trek. At the remarkable age of 90, Shatner made history as the oldest person to journey into space, fulfilling a lifelong dream and captivating audiences worldwide. On December 11, 2021, New Shepard embarked on its third crewed flight, NS-19. This mission included NFL superstar and television personality Michael Stryan, along with Laura Shepard Churchley, daughter of the first American in space, Alan Shepard. They joined four paying passengers on this unforgettable journey. The fourth crewed flight, NS-20, took off successfully on March 31, 2022, marking a milestone as it featured no celebrity passengers, just a Blue Origin employee, Gary Lai, and five adventurous paying customers ready to embrace the wonders of space. On June 4, 2022, New Shepard completed its fifth crewed flight, NS-21. Among its passengers was educational YouTuber Katya Echazareta, whose flight had been partly sponsored by Blue Origin and partly by other sources and five other paying passengers. It could be that it has been mistakenly claimed that Ishazareta's flight was sponsored by Blue Origin, and instead it was fully sponsored by Space for Humanity, a nonprofit organization. Also on board was Blue Origin's first repeat customer for New Shepard launches, Evan Dick. The excitement continued with the sixth crewed flight, NS-22, which took place on August 4, 2022. Among the crew was Kobe Cotton, co-founder of the wildly popular YouTube channel Dude Perfect. His seat was funded by Moondao, an organization focused on decentralizing access to space through cryptocurrency. They purchased two seats from Blue Origin for approximately $2.5 million, marking one of the first public figures available for the cost of a ride to suborbital space. The seventh crewed flight, NS-25, successfully launched on May 19, 2024, two years after an uncrewed mission faced an in-flight abort. On board were six passengers, including Ed Dwight, the first African-American astronaut candidate who was controversially not selected to join NASA in 1961. Eventually, on NS-25, he became the oldest man to reach space. Following that, the eighth crewed flight, NS-26, took place on August 29, 2024. It included NASA-funded scientist Rob Furl, who conducted groundbreaking scientific experiments during his journey, making him the first NASA-funded researcher aboard New Shepard or any commercial suborbital vehicle in the 21st century. Those crewed flights generated significant revenue for Jeff Bezos' company, amounting to more than $100 million as of June 2022.